Hello folks and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, please hit like, subscribe. Your friends about the pitch I can grow here in 2020. What am I doing today? Well, fine folks. Fossil hunting. And I'm an expert in what I'm about to show you. Look at that. That's palm wood. That's older than your standard petrified palm wood in this region. Goes back to the time of the dinosaurs. It goes back to roughly, take a guess, a hundred million years ago. And, as you can see, it's plentiful in the area. And, I haven't been down here in a while. Kind of a little bit uh, distracted lately. As to see in some of my latest big videos are the ones of me looking at petrified wood. So I was like, why the heck not? Give them what they want. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you fine folks are enjoying yourself today. I am just looking around to see what washed up. Surprisingly, we have had some, oh my God. Look at that beautiful piece. Wow. I'll show you. Whoa, look at those colorizations. That is beautiful. That is definitely a keeper. Put that in my pocket. I'm supposed to be going to the store today to get some food, but someone's late so I can't do that yet so I have my phone on me and if they want to talk to me or they eventually show up one day I can be able to uh, get to doing that but anywho I am quite surprised with how low the levels are if I knew it was this low I would have been down here sooner look you could walk across the creek just exposed all this beautiful rocks. Yes. But be cautious, people. Sometimes you'll see something and you're like, oh, that's petrified wood, but it's not. You gotta look for the colorizations, the marks, and the characteristics that defy it as being it. Uh, let's take a look at this one. When in doubt, check. I don't know. Sometimes petrified wood is so run down. Oh, that's definite wood. You see the grain edge in there? That's how you know you found petrified wood. So, folks, let's move on to the next section of this area. I am so glad my original spot is being restored because before I couldn't do this. Now it's starting to uh, change uh, patterns. Now that's what happens when the heavy storms happen. They kick up all that goodies. And you find all these yummy, cool fossils. Sometimes if you look hard enough, you find corids out here, which is more rare than anything. You look at that. Look at the colorization on that, Linus. So folks, let's see what this is. Darn, I was looking at the teeth and I was thinking that it was uh, some kind of mastodon. We had Colombian mammoths in the area. There we go, another. Gotta look and see what we can find inside those creek beds. But be careful, keep an eye out for alligators. You don't want to get cocky and step on a gator, especially if the water's deep. You'll lose a limb that way. Gotta watch out for gators. And peer over the areas more. You know, you gotta really look into it because if you don't, things will get past your eye. Just 
keep on looking don't give up if you give up you'll never find anything you just got to keep looking look at the ground now i remember you folks were telling me something about i had to uh, show you what i find on so i've been doing that um that's an interesting one look at that Uh, ooh, there's another one. Look at the grainage on that. That's petrified wood. And you ask me, Ricky, what do you do with all this petrified wood? It goes in a big old bucket until I can sort it out later on grades and quality. But anywho, I don't want to take up too much of your time. And since people requested to see my face when I do these, I might as well do the closer with you seeing my face. Anywho, I had fun talking to you folks today, and I'll talk to you sometime later. Later.